What is up everybody and welcome to a video on the updated version of the Institute Power Armor. So this is a Power Armor mod that did come out uh, I think around the beginning of October but it was only for PC which was very unfortunate well fortunately now by contrast it has finally made its way over to xbox one this is by m150 who also made the night power armor if you remember that mod from i don't know a little while back and definitely another very good power armor mod so hopefully we'll see that one also in the future but regardless here we do have the institute power armor which as you may have guessed is adding in an institute themed power armor and it's actually one from the concept art of Fallout 4. So as you can see, the power armor does look really good. The same critique I had at the start of this is, or when I originally saw the power armor was, the model quality is awesome. The texture quality could be improved though, especially if you're using the gun I'm using, which you probably will be, and that is the fusion rifle, which is meant to be a more advanced institute kind of laser rifle thing that, but regardless, the power armor still does look very good. And let's actually take a closer look at some of the details it does have. So as you can see, there there is no real helmet here. There is just kind of a chest piece and that's going to embody the helmet and the chest piece. Obviously, it really is just one big chest piece with a few little air holes. It looks like at the top there. I'm also using a blue headlamp because I felt like that color was the most institute-y. Regardless, there are no material mods or anything like that. You just get this red and white paint job, which I think actually is very fitting for the institute. Obviously, it does fit the rifle that is available in the vanilla game. And as you take a closer look at the armor, I feel like my original point of the texture quality just needs a little bit of a bump does still apply i just honestly i think the model is so good and the textures are just bringing it down uh, not substantially, but very noticeably, like you could definitely see where a better texture or a higher quality texture would really go a long way for this particular mod, because I think, again, the model is very good. As I did say in the little intro of this video, this is a uh, kind of a power armor from the concept art. For that reason, you may have seen other images of this. Other mod authors were working on it. I know Flip Dark was working on one, but uh, that hasn't been released yet. So this is the only one we have currently. And again, it looks pretty good, although I just think a texture bump would really make this uh, kind of a next level power armor. So it does also come with this totally custom jetpack, as you can see. And I actually really like the look of the jetpack. I feel like when you're in third person, the armor as a whole, which I guess if you're in third person, this is all you're going to be see seeing, doesn't nearly look nearly as bad um, as it does when you get all up and close, as you may have guessed. And again, this uh, this little fusion rifle I'm using is extremely high quality, and I go into uh, workshop mode but uh, so that kind of makes it almost look a little bit worse because it contrasts it more but regardless again when you're in third person it's not too big of a deal and I think the armor actually looks very cool as you can see we could fly around a little bit and uh, it is having the same stats as the um, T60 power armor so nothing too crazy definitely implemented into the game pretty well I didn't show you how to get it because it's very clear you just go to the roof of a building the mod author gives you images and everything like that but again, that's pretty much it about the power armor. It's not like a content heavy power armor. It just kind of adds in this, uh, you know, basic power armor. You get what you get and you can't really get upset because it's all you have as far as Institute power armors go, which I think is something should have been in the uh, vanilla game because it's a major faction and it just, I feel like it should have been. Regardless, now let's actually go, you know, do what the Institute do and let's go kill some Brotherhood of Steel. So below me are some Brotherhood Star Paladins. They are very angry and very tough enemies, but my gun actually is pretty good. This is, again is the fusion gun. I would really recommend you use this with this armor because uh, it really is a really high quality gun. And of course it is made to be used with the Institute and I just didn't turn them on. But here you go. I did place down some legendary raiders as well to hopefully help me out a little bit and uh, take down some of these brotherhood of steel which uh again are they're these are some really tough enemies so we gotta be a little bit careful but again this gun does do crazy amounts of damage if i don't insta die to all these brotherhood of steel shooting me we're gonna have to uh do some fancy stuff to not die here and i can actually fly up onto the roof my only main issue here is i'm actually technically using i think it's a shotgun so if i get really close oh wait this this was a mistake this was a huge mistake. But again, if I get really close, I should do tons of damage. As you can see, I did just, uh, I think I just one shot that guy. <laughs> Although I did critical hit him. So uh, that definitely helped me out a little bit. And I think, what is that guy using? Oh, a Gauss rifle. But regardless, let's try and hide back here. And uh, we'll try and go for a cool headshot on this guy with the Gauss rifle. And uh, we did finish that guy off. So cool. With the, It looks like with um, this thing fully upgraded, I'm using, uh, I don't know, like the leaded version of the fusion gun. There's a leaded and uh, I forgot what the other one is, copper, I believe. But with the leaded one, you can pretty much one shot these guys if you uh, use a critical hit, which is, these are pretty much the toughest enemies you'll find in the game. So the armor itself is pretty much holding up 
well, although their ammo or their damage isn't buffed really, it's just their um, their damage or their armor and damage resistance is buffed. That's what makes them so tough. But regardless, we could take some more shots at these guys. And oh, hello. And uh, if I actually get in here, as you can see, I have the burning effect going on for all of them. But if I actually get in here, so I could actually do this. Boom. <laughs> that's always satisfying. I love doing that. But regardless, let's actually take some more shots at these guys. As you can see, we've got a nice little headshot there. And uh, let's see if we can't get a few more cool little shots. Do we have a critical hit still? Oh, we do. And we're going to blow that guy's head off. So let's go see if we can't get a few more cool shots. Do I get a crit reset? No, I don't, unfortunately. But uh, again, like right now, while using this in combat, can you tell those textures are bad? I know people always comment on my videos, oh, these textures look so bad. But I feel like there really is a threshold like yes obviously you want the best quality textures because well why the hell not everyone wants the best quality textures but i feel like in a scenario like okay i can't click the second guy nope out of <laughs> out of ap now oh i just critical hitted him when i was killing him anyway whoops but uh, regardless we can run over here yeah and you see i placed down 15 legendary raiders like we never saw them <laughs> <laughs> I think they just got instantly killed, damn it. Um, I think they got instantly killed there, which is a little bit unfortunate, obviously. So let's take some shots from over this way. I think my settler is trying to help me out here, although I can't imagine he's going to be doing it too well. And let's go run through here. Obviously, these close environments are going to be uh, exactly where I want to take these guys on. And so let's take a few shots this way. And uh, we could definitely kill him after we reload really quickly. I'm getting shot from out the window. Hello. Now we can finish him off. Uh, is he shooting me? I don't think so. So we can come out like so and uh, try and finish this guy off. There you go. That's a cool shot. Really satisfying killing the Brotherhood of Steel. And I think that's about everyone. So yeah, it's going to pretty much be the Institute Power Armor. It is in the game as the I-01 or the IPA. So a pretty cool Power Armor mod and uh, definitely worth a download, especially if you like the Institute. If you sided with the Institute, I feel like this is almost a must download because it just, the Institute needs a Power Armor. It should have been in the vanilla game and it wasn't, but fortunately this does add it in. As always, I thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you all next time. Later.